We're back. Welcome back to the season one finale, episode 20. Season one finale. And that was a great sounding crack right there, too. It was. It was. It had to happen. That was nice. I'll let you take this one away with what we're drinking. We are drinking. Hold on. Oh, you know, yeah. Get that nice head. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, perfect. I couldn't, I couldn't fuck it up two weeks in a row. Mm -mm. That was money. Awesome. Oh yeah, it's really good. Ooh, it tastes good. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is Trillium. Trillium brew. It's a uh, dialed up triple IPA, eleven percent. It's a mosaic beer with a uh, Riesling juice in it, which if you don't know, Riesling's a white wine. So it's got like it's got sweeter flavors to it normally at yep. the wine. And I, I actually do taste a sweeter, like less than a bitter IPA. Definitely sweet. Definitely sweet, but it's it's balanced. It's good. So it's a triple IPA, huh? So that's what 11% is? Yeah. What would be a double? Up to what, 10? I think 8. I think it's so single to like 8. And then 8 to 10 is double. And then after that is triple. Got you. That's a sweet phone on this little can here. We always, yeah. we always talk about old-fashioned technology. We'll get that going for you. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Trillium is dope. Um, yeah, you took that trip up. Yeah, there. we went to the trip for my boy Drew. Shout out to Drew. Shout out to Vicky. They're expecting a baby soon. Hey. Um, he just turned 30, so we went up to the Trillium Brewery in Canton, which was actually a dope-ass atmosphere. We actually were outside the whole time. They have an outside patio as well as the inside. They have a tap room, and they have a, a, you know, a spot where you buy the, the growlers and the cans and stuff like that, and it was separate, so you don't have to wait in like a line. for You, know, you have two separate lines for that. But um, we got there probably like... Twelve thirty one wasn't crazy. Hour later, packed. It was nuts. Best part about it though, the place is dog friendly inside and out. So you don't have to like put your dog on a post. You could walk right in with the dog. And we saw a lot of puppies. There was actually a golden retriever meet there when we got when we were there. There was about six, seven, eight, maybe ten golden retrievers just chilling with each other. It was dope. They have like a Facebook group. They meet up once a month. We were talking to them. Oh, did you pet any of them? Did you meet? Oh any yeah, dogs? Mike was yeah. in. Like Mike literally touched every dog. Probably. Well, what is Mike doing with? Mike doesn't like dogs. Well, he doesn't like his dog. He doesn't like his dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. It's like the aunt and uncle syndrome. Like, yeah, you like kids, but you just don't want one. Yeah. Like you know, just as long as we can give them back. Like that's it. Yeah, that's a dope concept, though. Yeah, okay. but it was dope. I had a sour. I had a stout. I had a IPAs. I tried to switch up every beer, but like after the third and fourth one, I was pretty lit. So what were you saying yeah. about their description? Now you remember? The remember the, the the three things that they're about? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, so the Trillium you? Brewery. I did a little back research on it actually just a couple of minutes ago. Well, maybe it was three. It was, or it was like three or four. But it was uh. So the it was created in 2013 by a couple. One was a botanist. One was a beer nerd, quote unquote. And they chose the Trillium flower, which I didn't know was a flower until five minutes ago, um, to be their logo and representation of the beer. And it's like, it brings beauty, balance. Hold on, I got it right here. Wait, right here. Beauty, balance, and that's all incorporated into the beer that they make. Okay, yeah. Beauty, strength, beauty, strength, sim simplicity, and balance, which was dope. Yeah, that's just I like mean, that's like a nice, like. Mission statement right yeah, there. Yeah, or like their values. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Their company values. So then I looked up the, the flower and uh, just briefly, and I think it actually might be illegal to pick these flowers. It might be one of those like like extent, or like or endangered flowers. Like they have it preserved. Oh, yeah, I think Connecticut's, isn't it? The, the mountain laurel? I think that's what it's called. We have state have flowers, no right? We idea. have a Connecticut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every state has like a flower, like, a, like we have an animal a, and yeah, shit. Yeah, we have like a, we have a bug. <laughs> We have an insect. It's what the is praying it? mantis. Is it? Yeah, you don't fuck with the praying mantis. I just saw one of those the other day. Yeah, don't kill it. I didn't kill it. Is it illegal? <laughs> it's definitely illegal. You should have mopped that boy. <laughs> Shit, you might get cuffed. Should have mopped yeah, that I'm boy. I'm telling you right now, I think Connecticut, um, yeah, I think our bug is like the praying mantis. Yeah, so like overall experience at the brewery was, it was actually super dope. They even had, uh, I don't know if they're there all the time, but they had like this pork vendor there. They were doing barbecue nachos, pulled pork sandwiches. Uh, a, a bunch of different stuff. We actually didn't eat because we brought food. You could bring your own food. And then, um, yeah, it was lit. I was two for two. 
Praying mantis is the bug and the flower is the laurel thing. That's right, look. Two for two. Mountain this laurel. This is our official flower, the mountain laurel. And it's the official state insect. And you know what I'm going to do right now? The official podcast of Connecticut, Boys and Bar Talk. Hottest podcast in Connecticut, baby. I'm just going to say Here it. we go. Not to be affiliated with any state representatives. Because <laughs> no. I don't want to get None sued. That. We don't, I, I don't know anything about nutmeg. This is either. our own claim. We're claiming it ourselves. Yeah, we That's claim it. it. This is ours. But yo, for eleven percent though, I really don't taste it. No, like a lot of beers, you could taste like the like the alcohol percentage. Oh yeah, well, I didn't taste it. One of my one of my personal favorites getting into IPAs was uh, it was uh, Space Dust. By what? Oh it yeah, Elysian or Elysian? Elysian. Elysian. Out of Seattle. Yo, and you could that's a strong beer. Oh yeah. But this one, this one's stronger than that, and I don't even taste it. Like this one tastes like juice. Oh yeah. This, I had one there that was a stout. It was called. Uh. Something haunted fields, haunted fields trillium. A trillium. Yeah, it was fourteen percent. It was a stout, and so smooth. What it come in like a 10, 10 ounce? Yeah, they only do ten or five ounce pours. I don't think I drank anything that was under eight percent. They had stuff there that was four or five, six. I wasn't fucking with none of That's that. That's some strong shit. You must have been tipsy. I was faded. Faded. But can I get into the story real quick? Of course. Because you had to have seen me talk about it. So, oh, yes. So, so you didn't tell me about this yet. Oh, my God. Probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Quick backstory, right? So my boy Mike, he don't really like... Not that he don't like kids. He don't like kids that act up in like public places. He's definitely peeved by kids. Yeah, like he's not he doesn't really tolerate that type of stuff. Like he gets annoyed he's, by He's he's quick. an angry lad. He's an angry boy. He's an angry boy. Anyway, that being said, he also does not like being touched at all by or, anybody. Or feet. Or definitely not feet. Or corn. But well, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> that's, that's irrelevant. But yo, so he doesn't he doesn't like being touched. So we go to Five Guys after our uh, Trillium venture because we were pretty faded. Ooh, burgers. And mind you, just for a disclaimer, we did have a designated driver. That's all I'm saying. Of course, be safe. We were responsible. So she brought us to a Five Guys. We got our meal. We're sitting down. We're getting it to go because we got a long drive ahead of us. So we're sitting, and Mike has his like back to the front door. I'm facing the I'm facing the front, and uh, all of a sudden, this this kid, maybe six, seven, comes over. And, and kind of just pulls up on the side of him and just does this. <laughs> like, and zaps him with, like, a toy. So, you know, Mike, he's, oh, shit. Like, and so he turns around and he instantly, like, I see it in his face. Like, he was so tight. He was bulging. He was so mad. He was so mad. So I start crying. Like, I'm dying laughing. Like, you don't even know. Like, I could not stop fucking laughing for, like, five minutes straight, right? So I see the mom, and she's, like, kind of embarrassed because there was a bunch of kids. There's probably, like, two moms and, like, five, six kids. And, like, she was like, oh, my God. Like, she didn't say anything to us but because I was fucking lo- – I was losing it. I could not help myself. I was fucking crying in there. So whatever, whatever. Then the kid comes back, like, comes near Mike. Mike goes just like this. He turns around and goes, come near me again, and I'm going to fuck you up. To this six, seven year old kid. And Mike's a grown ass man. He's a big boy. Like, he's not small. He's like almost six feet, 230. Like, he's a, he's, he's up here. And yo, that kid hit him with the fucking Michael Jackson moonwalk. He was out of there. Moonwalk. He was not sticking around for Just that. Just like at Nick, all. And, Nick and New Girl to get him out of any situation. Nick, w- why are you moonwalking? <laughs> literally. Literally. Oh my God. I love New Girl, though. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? I actually just finished that last season. What? Oh, the last season, yeah. right? Yeah. I, at first, I didn't like the way the direction that they took because it was kind of a big break from season, excuse me, season six to season seven. But then when they wrapped it up, I was like, all right, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. For yeah, anybody. I don't want to spoil it either. But you saw you saw what they did. I liked it. Speaking it wasn't, of shows, let me. Oh yeah, go ahead. It wasn't meant to happen though. They just kind of threw that. It was like a pop popular. It demand. was kind of like a uh, Toy Story uh, four. Did you, you see Toy Story 4? I didn't see it, but to basically... Dude, Toy Story 4 is lit. I heard it's really good, but nobody asked for it, but it turned out good, so it's all good. Yeah, see, like when I went into Toy Story 4, I was like, damn, is it a cash grab? Yeah. Is and that's, it... And it was really good. And that's also how I felt about uh, El Camino. No one asked for a Breaking Bad closure ending, 
But hey, I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, I didn't happened. watch it. I kind of it was a success. It like, wasn't too much of a cash grab. I liked Breaking Bad, but I didn't study it. Right. Yeah. Like I, I didn't rewatch it. I just watched it once. I was really into it when I did watch it. But there's a lot of things I probably forget. Like I could rewatch it now and still be surprised by major events. Probably. Yeah, I'm into. Uh, I was really into. It. I watched it like three times. It got better every time, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Definitely, but I, I might. Ch- no, look, can yeah. we go back to this Mike story real quick? Oh yeah, yeah. So what would you do as a parent? I feel like if if my kid went and tased someone, like, I would have to at least say something. Well, because you, you you're looking at like a lawsuit, a possible lawsuit for sure. I don't know if you can do a lawsuit. Come on, that's reckless as hell. That's like it is. Like, that could be like some like. I don't know if it was a. It could have been a taser, but I felt like it zapped him. Like it obviously wasn't a real taser. But he got zapped. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I was pretty <laughs> fucked up. But that's how I took it. And that's the story I'm sticking to. So, I mean, he could have just poked him with something either way. I feel like it was a zap involved. Wait, what would you do in this, situ- in this situation? Well, I, t- I had told my dad this story. And he goes, I would have fucked you up right in the Five Guys. <laughs> I'm like, word, lit. Like, like and me as a kid, like, if I was a seven-year-old and I did that to somebody, he, like, he would have beat my ass in Five Guys. Literally. And you're not getting food either. And I'm not and I'm if you already, hungry. If you already ate, you're getting hit in the gut. And I'm grounded. <laughs> and that and that toy, if that if I had a toy, it was in the garbage right then and there. Definitely. Oh easily. Hundred percent. Easily. But yeah, if I if I was Mike in that situation, I don't I don't know what I would do. I don't think I would I don't think I would be too mad about it. But little kids do get on my nerves sometimes. Yeah. I love kids, don't get me wrong, but if they're crying and the parents not doing anything about it, that bothers see, me. See, it a depends lot. on the situation. Cause like if you're in a restaurant and I see it all the time because I work in one. If you have a baby, like a newborn baby, one like one years old, and they're crying, like there's really nothing you could do about it. Cause you can't like talk sense into them. So I just zone it out. Like I'm not gonna get upset because like like everybody's gotta enjoy their meal. Like, I would not want somebody to leave because their baby can't stop crying. Unless it was, like, some crazy, like, fucking ear-piercing yeah. scream. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I get that. I, I would say it just, I would say it annoys me, though. Yeah. It definitely annoys me, and I can't. I think I've seen it enough to where it just doesn't bother me. Like, I don't hear it. It's like a glass breaking. I've heard glass some, yeah. break so many times, right, I don't yeah. even look. You're just, like, deaf to it. Yeah. I would say it annoys me, but I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'll keep that yeah, to myself. I could, yeah. I could keep that to myself. But I can't help that from annoying me. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I just, I just gotta let it be though. I'm not gonna go like. Shut, I guess I'm shut your kid up. I'm guess I'm seasoned to it a little bit. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, yo, do you want to get into this really quick? Cause I was looking this up today, and I was looking at off-brand shit, right? Because it stems from. I would love to like one day and just see like, like just plug you into some wires or something and just see how your mind moves. Just see my portal gun. Just see where I'm going. Yeah, like cause. Like, I think there was one episode where you're like, I think it might have been last episode. It's like, yo, you want to talk about beavers? And oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Everyone should like, do some where beaver does research. This, like, where does this come from? But, yeah, let, let's go to the off-brand some prongles time. you got over there. Oh, yeah, we got some prongles over here. But t- but tell me, though. Tell me this. Tell me this, all right? Yep. Because I was thinking about after seeing all these. And, like, is there any off-brand shit? Like, Kirkland brand or off-brand stuff? I already dollar know. Store. Yeah, you know where this is oh, stemming yeah. from. But dollar store brand... Is there what what where do you draw the line? Because I'm gonna tell you mine first. If you want to, no, idea. yeah, go ahead. Plastic silverware. Okay. I won't stand for some cheap dollar store ass plastic silverware or toilet paper. Definitely not toilet paper. This, silverware I could do all the day. The silverware, no, because if let's say I go to put that in the peanut butter jar, sometimes late night I'll go grab a peanut butter jar and I'll just scoop it out and get a couple just to satisfy my hunger. Yeah, yeah, right. So, but it will break inside the jar every single time if it's a cheap plastic spoon. Yeah, okay, I've never. I had need that some premium plastic. Some premium shit. plastic, yeah. No, yeah, I've never had plastic. that problem because I don't. But deal toilet with paper is a different thing, dude. I will spend. I will spare no expense on toilet paper. I want the quadruple ply if they have it. You single, gotta take care of that ass. Single ply is irrelevant. You gotta take care of the anus. Definitely take care That's of your ass. Just, you have to get to the ass. We're a developed country, but we don't have the days. I, I wish Danny was on uh, was on air with us oh, right here. Like I feel like he would have something great to say. We don't have bidets yet. Yeah, nah. We, we should have bidets. Dude, Mo's had a bidet in, in his would, house. Yeah, a bidet? Is it a bidet or a bidet? Bidet. 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 I like, kind of like bidet. Yeah, I like bidet. 
If you picture that cold water just hitting you, it's cold water, right? Washing that b-hole with that bold day. Just hitting your Yo, remember on line Call of Duty yesterday? Somebody's name on Call of Duty yesterday was fisting b-holes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not going to get into <laughs> Call of Duty names right now. Your Call of Duty gamer tags yeah, Activision, are outrageous. Activision, you need to do something, bro, because we're seeing some wild shit. Yeah, we're, we're not, not going to get into it. A little, but a little offensive. A lot of racist yeah. shit. <laughs> a lot of racist. <laughs> but anyway. But they, but they, so this is my thing, right? You like soda? Do I like soda? Yeah. Uh, no. Have you ever liked soda? Yeah, I like soda. So I can like, go for like one Dr. soda. Dr. Thunder, though, is fire. Dr. Thunder? Dr. Thunder is fire. It's like a... I almost thought Fresco was like a like a knockoff brand, but now no, Fresco's no, Fresca's becoming is, like their own thing. Fresco's big. <laughs> at, at the golf thing. club that I used to work at, we had the stock Fresco because people would do Tito's Fresco. Oh, they, got, oh. oh they, have, they have to get a Fresca now. Yeah, because they, they got money. Sprite is that middle class shit, yeah. I guess. Nah, but um, Dr. Thunder's the shit. Off brand, I would never do no. Like, I'm I'm getting Charmin Ultra. I'm getting. I don't even fuck with no Scott. Like, I need top tier. Oh, you're trying to talk about the toilet paper. Yeah, you? like, I need big toilet paper energy. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not trying to have a slip up. I think single ply is purely aesthetic. Like maybe that's just for decoration in your bathroom. Let me ask you this, and I did get this from uh, the basement yard when I was watching it, and I asked my dad this about like, a couple weeks ago. Do you, when you wipe, do you go off of, of looks or feel? I think looks. You look at the paper before you're done. I'm gonna tell you a three-step process right now. Okay, it's definitely looks, but it's also sitting down. Yeah. And it's also you gotta fold into squares to get more usage out of no, it. No, yeah. Those are I think they're the three keys. But to I'm wipe saying to it. know when you're done wiping. Yeah, right. To wipe ass, I just gave you my three keys. It definitely looks. You look at it. Yeah. I don't look at it. See, I don't wanna look at it, but I feel I like it's, it's weird not to good... go like boom well, and then be like, oh, all right, what... we're good. Like I feel like I could feel around and know yeah, 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 like yeah. if there's remnants. Well, 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 well props props to you for trusting your instincts. I'll give That's you that. That's exactly what my dad said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trust your intuition. He was like, yeah, you know, he was like, you're a brave soul. <laughs> I'm like, you trust your instincts. I give you that. I'm but no, I, got, I look at. it. I don't want to look at it, but I have to. Yeah. You know, it's not like I'm sure, proud you know. to look at it, but shitting is nasty business. It's dirty biz. It really is. Dirty biz. But I want. I kind of want to circle back to those bidets for a little bit. I'm kind of curious. I would love to. Shit. I would love to literally invest in them. They gotta be here eventually. They're here. You could get them. Do you know how much they cost? Oh, thousands. I'm, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I would if not. I, I'm not investing thousands in my poop yet. Oh no. I mean, but if we had a good Patreon, we we could get a bidet. Yeah, can, or go fund me. Yeah. Should we you, go fund me for a bidet? Yeah. If you guys want, <laughs> if you guys want to fund that for us, uh, go right ahead. Get the boys a bidet. <laughs> a, a boys community bidet. <laughs> Is that cold water or room temp? Do you know what's going on with that? Oh, man. I would hope it was room temp. Yeah. Maybe warm. Some different settings, maybe. Maybe warm. It's probably warm because if you think about it, if you're cleaning something, you use hot water. Yeah. You shell out an extra... Because uh, if it's cold water, that's just unpleasing. Yeah. An extra thousand gets you uh, temp settings. You know, different... Different... Like a shower head almost with different like... Yeah, different pressure, modes. Pressure settings and this and that. I'll tell you right now, I'm going low pressure. Oh yeah, for sure. For <laughs> you gotta build your way yeah, up nah, to you it. You gotta build a tolerance. You gotta, you gotta build, build a tolerance to the bidet. You don't know how raw it's gonna be down there. <laughs> <laughs> super raw, super raw. It could get super raw down there. It could get wild. But your ass will be clean. I'll tell you what, though. Now that we're on the subject, I don't know why this is gonna come up, but fuck it. Yo, do you ever chafe? Chafe? Yeah, I just well in my ass or just anywhere. Just anywhere. Oh yeah, I had some bad chafing over the summer because I was. Uh, when I was paving and doing construction, I was wearing jeans, and that shit made me chafe a lot. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'll tell you right now. I'm sweating. Baby powders. I keep a baby powder in the room, and I keep... Well, I don't keep this, but cornstarch will, will save your life. Cornstarch. I heard about that. Baby powder, yes. I've used baby powder, especially... Dude, chafing, chafing has got to be the worst, most uncomfortable thing in the world. Well, yeah, for you too. Well, you walk a lot more than I do. Yeah, I hate it. If I have it on like a Saturday night and they come, like it's not always, but sometimes. Yeah. And I'm just like, I can't wait to kick these motherfuckers out. Like, I'm done. I'm all set. I hate that yeah. shit. I, yeah, I see that. Did you ever pee your pants before? Mm hmm. You remember peeing your pants? I don't remember a specific time, but um, I used to pee the bed a lot. Right. Like a lot. Like, way, yeah. like when I was like not supposed to be peeing the bed. Oh, anymore. really? Yeah. Last time I remember peeing my pants like full, 
full puddle, like like almost dripping. I think I was in third grade. Second, I was gonna ask you if you were drunk. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't pee in my pants when I'm drunk. Although sometimes you pee in bushes and shit. Yeah, weird shit. I pee in corners, like yeah. like almost like sleepwalking. You gotta develop a pee corner. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta establish that <laughs> territory. But I don't think. Yeah, I remember peeing my pants in like second grade. I don't think I ever really like. I just had to go so bad. I don't think I ever really peed my pants like O D. I've shit my pants. Yeah. From like laughing oh. so hard. Oh man. But like, oh. like I've laughed so hard that I just let it loose. Like my bad. Like you, fuck. Do you throw out the clothes or could you wash that? Does it come out? Nah. I mean, I don't throw out the jeans, but like nah, nah, the nah. underwear got to go. Yeah. Oh, they got to go. Yeah, because that's way they more replaceable. Go. That's that's just you know, way more replaceable. Yeah, no, we yeah, don't. You, there's no reason that. for you to be keeping shitty underwear. Plus, like if you wash it, like it's just gonna get shit all over everything else. Right. It's just gonna spread it. Yeah. I'm not with that. Do you know what I was thinking about today as well? Because my dad came up to me, and my parents are going to Florida for the weekend. I mean, I I, I live downstairs, but they want me to take care of of all the pets that we have. Yeah. yeah. And he comes up to me. He's like, "Well, you do I, live in the fucking house." Yeah, I live in the house. But I'm not always there, and I and I'm not the guy. I'm not the person in my family to take care of the pets. Where's your sister? No, she's gonna she she'll be around. Oh, uh, but I'm saying you typically on a normal day. I'm not yeah, the one yeah, to take yeah. care me, of the I pets. I mean, me neither. Yeah, I'll let my dogs I, out. I, that's I, about it. Yeah, I don't really own up to the responsibility of my pets. That's yeah, all. Yeah, like I, there was a point one time where my dad, my and uh, my sister were both gone, and I had to feed the dogs. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. Probably fed them too much. Yeah, yeah exactly, which is what I'm probably going to do. But he was almost like, I, he's like, I'm not even sure if I want to go because I'm stressed out that you're not going to take care of these animals. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, like, I'll let him out like two, three times I mean, a day. we're somewhat responsible. Yeah, like, he's treating me like, like I'm 12 <laughs> like, years old, I'm 25 You can now. own up to it for a couple of days. <laughs> like. But dude, I'll tell you one thing, my old ass chihuahua, though, my chihuahua's got to be kicking. Yeah, maybe like, don't feed that one. No, nah, he's got to be so like 13. Good. Just kidding. I'm just dude, kidding. He's going, he's going both blind and deaf. Oh, he's going but, full Helen Keller. Yeah, Helen Keller. But let me tell you, Damn. you pick him up because you got to tap him. When he's sleeping, he has like his tongue out. He sleeps with his tongue out and shit. And you got to tap yeah, him and wake him up. But, dude, I'm almost fascinated by how, how old he is. But you could pick him up, put him outside, and you could go to the bathroom on command. Like, these dogs could but just... But you have to pick him up and put him outside. Yeah, but I'm still amazed that, like, all my pets could do, or all my dogs could do that. They could just... There's dogs out there wearing diapers. There is, dude. If your dog's wearing a diaper, just put it. Just that's, just let it go. Dude. That's. That, I feel like that's also some upper middle class shit. Upper class. Damn. What's some? Oh, you want to know some rich shit that happened to not happen to me, but at the restaurant. Yo, this lady, dead ass, ordered a New York strip for her dog. That was present at the restaurant. Like this was like go? last week. Was it to go? To go. <laughs> I was about to say a New York strip. Like, that's like a $30 steak. Oh, easily. For her dog to eat. That's probably my steak of choice. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I mean, she didn't order it with me, but somebody told me about it. And I'm like, what? I And so I looked for her because naturally I wanted to marry her because she got money. But she's married, so. Like, oh, yeah. The, every, everyone's eating good in that family. But, yo, real quick. We got about six and a half minutes left. Oh, right. We want to talk about. First of all, shout out to the fans. Shout out to everybody that supported. We appreciate y'all wholeheartedly. Fans. We love y'all. We love everything y'all do. Engagements, comments, likes, everything. Keeps us going. If you wanna, if you wanna know, we just hit 700 downloads, um, 900 Instagram followers. If you like numbers like that, but you guys are the best, always yeah, engaging. We appreciate that. Don't so even much. care about the numbers. Just care about that you guys like us. Yeah, and no, you guys are engaged with that's us. That's great. If you don't like us, we're cool with that too. Nah, fuck y'all. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah. <laughs> if you don't like us, it's fine. Cool. But, uh, no, it's, uh, it, you know, me and Rob started this seven, eight months ago. February, Long time ago. February. Yeah, February-ish. February-ish. Uh, Officially, maybe towards June. This is where the idea stems from, anyway. Um, we probably, we imagined that we could be here, but we didn't fully believe that we could at this point in the, at this time in the podcast, and I think... It's such a special thing to have a, a lot of people surround us and support us and to what we love doing. Because I have fucking fun every every week that we come and do this shit. Yeah, and I know a lot of these times. Typically, we go for a half hour, so you know we get we pack in a bunch of shit. So sometimes we don't we don't always get to show our appreciation 
yeah. on on air at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, going back to the first episode, I'm amazed that I could scroll through iTunes or Spotify or whatever, and I could scroll through and I could look at all 20 episodes that are completed, a whole season out of the way. 20 back. episodes, it's 20 weeks. Yeah, just like 20 just, plus, because we had like one week, I think we were... Yeah, yeah, you know, we tried to be consistent as possible. Yeah, yeah. We're still getting there, still figuring things out. But like Kev said, going back to like February and this, all this started was, uh, this was an idea. Simply as that. Yeah, no, it was, uh, and I just said this the other day, I said, imagine starting something from from no downloads, no engagement, to having the type of type of downloads that y'all provide for us and the engagement that y'all y'all provide for us is, is just it's it's magic working before you and and we literally don't even do anything. We just come in here and make these videos, make these podcasts, talk about whatever we want to talk about and y'all just y'all just mess with us. So I mean it's great. But um I think the monumental for me, one of the one of the one of the biggest things that happened this this I'm gonna say season was the Oreo thing. It really was. I feel like and when I, when I when I saw the engagement on that post, I was like, "Yo, we could really like we could really do this like easily." Yeah, and I think we did. We have that Oreo debate on air. We might have, right? We I definitely was, did. We definitely been, did. Um, that might have been the first. The first. The one. One or two. Yeah, number yeah. one or two. Maybe three. And that was just for me. I was just like, wow, like people actually like. We have people coming up to us when we go out, like yo, like and giving us their opinion on on the topic. And I was just like, wow, like y'all are really paying attention, which which we appreciate. Yeah, that. and some of like some people actually like are surprised about how we are and how we argue and shit. But we've yeah. always been that way. Yeah, these are regular conversations yeah. that happen on the. On the regular. Yeah, we're, you know, we could get heated and then it's all good at the end. We just like to argue just to argue. Yeah, like, uh, we say all the time, like, when we're on Xbox and or when we're playing poker or we're doing this or we're doing that, like, most of our conversations probably should be documented like and recorded because it gets crazy. But, like, now we have a platform where that actually can happen. Well, yeah, it's a lesson for us, and it's a lesson for any of you guys that need inspiration. Uh, reach out to us, and we're, we'll gladly help. But we, we will could, definitely help, 100%. I definitely agree with you. Like, document document what you like to do, because we just, honestly, this started from spitballing in the basement, and we just were drinking at the time. And, Bro, I'm just going to point this out. And you hit record. This is this is my basement. We are in my basement. This is a poker table. Yeah, this is, this is a basement. This is a closet right here. This and, is a closet. Behind us is a fucking half a kitchen. We got the studio over there, and my laundry room is right over there. Like we just do this shit because we love it, right? And we and we appreciate everybody that I mean showed us love for it, right? Yeah, and we we literally started by having a drink, and then just you hit record while we were just having a conversation yeah. one day. It was and, like fuck it, and we had this mic here, and we he you already had this camera, yep. So we just started making things. And anyone could start to make something, and then you could start to turn it into your own brand. Like we're trying to, we have some big big plans coming for sure. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but we're expanding a little bit here and there. But we'll say like, it's gonna be a different season two is gonna be different, and we're not gonna take a long break. No, no, no. I, I would week. say I would say a couple weeks, two weeks, couple two three, couple two three weeks. That's it. I mean, um, we're not going nowhere. Give us some time to to. We're gonna go revamp, and we're gonna come back better than ever. Definitely. I think we're gonna take everything that we've learned from this season and then go into the second yeah. season being. And it feels like it feels. I don't know about you, but it feels like I've been doing this for years. This shit is easy. I, I came in today and Rob came over and I said, "Yo, you know what you want to talk about? Yeah, but are we really gonna need it? No, no, never. I don't think never. we we touched on hat like for five minutes on what you even were, said we wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, dudes, I just go with my voice command, you know, like the voice command on your phone, and I'll just, like, talk into my notes yeah. in my phone, and I have all these notes, and this is all the shit that we never hit on. Yeah. Because most it's of this stuff, is improvised. It's just stuff that's there. If if we do fumble or, or have do, a point of break, Yes, but we never do. We're I mean, still learning. Just, like just like just like Kev still learning from that Instagram story when he threw up off that Jack Daniel <sighs> shot. Like we're all still we're all still learning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and your Fuck Jack Daniels, dude. <laughs> that was terrible. That was just awful. <laughs> but yo, we gotta say peace. We got thirty seconds left. I wanna we we should probably do a an actual send off here. An actual send off. <laughs> and but it 
It's I, the end of the season. It's the end. Of, roll the credits. Yo, wait, Rick and Morty episode. How'd you feel about it? It was great. Everyone watch Rick and Morty. Everyone season four. Rick and Morty that's season where. Four. That's Woo! where I'm really going. I'm quitting podcast and watch Rick and Morty. Roll the credits. <laughs> roll the credits. We're out of here. Peace.